I want to welcome Kevin Donnelly, our education experts often here on the program. He's also a prolific author and his latest book is Christianity is Good for Us. Thanks for joining us, Kevin. Always good to talk to you. Uh, tell us the essential thesis of your book. I think you've kind of encapsulated it in the cover. <laughs> <laughs> it is, and uh, thank you very much for having me on the show again. Uh, the title talks for itself, but before I get into a bit more detail, I grew up in Broadmeadows in Melbourne, working class area, and Dad was a member of the Communist Party, and not many people know that, but he... Uh, enrolled me and Gordon, my brother, in the Eureka Youth Movement. So we had on Tuesday all about the Glorious People's Revolution, Stalin, Lenin, Mao. But luckily, Mum was a good Catholic, so it was on Sunday, Mass at St Dominic's. So when I was growing up, it was a very interesting <laughs> home life. On one side, we had Dad and the other side, Mum. Over time, since I've now, you know, been around for a fair while, I've come to understand that socialism, uh, communism, neo-Marxism, whatever you want to call it, really has never worked and it's actually quite dangerous. And so I'm quite happy to defend uh, Christianity as an underpinning in our Western societies like Australia that is so vital that we acknowledge and uh, accept it rather than being so critical. Now, I think this is the problem uh, in, in the sort of activist class, the radical class, they attack Christianity as a means of attacking the establishment. Now, you don't have to be a believer to understand how mm. uh, Christianity and Christian countries have helped develop the, the systems of democracy and governments, uh, even separation of, uh, of, uh, of church and state, uh, the, the intrinsic value in, in human rights, um, the, the, uh, this has been fundamental. You, you don't have to be a believer to understand that we should um, preserve those institutions and understand from where they draw their roots. We do, uh, and especially in Melbourne, Victoria, where I live, where Chairman Dan, as I called him, is really uh, a number of times shut down Parliament, not allowed members of Parliament to go into the building. He's now saying he wants to take control of the health system, basically, for a year. But you ignore that underpinning our political and our legal system, as you mentioned, are concepts like uh, separation of religion and state. And in the Bible, it talks about that. Uh, Unto Caesar, what is Caesar's? And to God, what is God? Our system of government, but more than that, uh, Douglas Murray, the English uh, author who wrote The Strange Death of Europe, calls himself a cultural Christian, because if you look at our literature, our art, our music, even our architecture, it goes back to that Christian underpinning. And whether it's Dante or the Sistine Chapel or Chartres Cathedral, I mean, Christianity is something there which we can't ignore. And I was, as you were, I'm sure, a bit upset when uh, the New South Wales Prime Minister Perito was attacked for being a Christian. And uh, I think that's the danger here, that we're undermining and attacking the very belief system, which is so vital. I think you make a powerful point, Kevin. He's, uh, he is uh, Premier of New South Wales, not Prime Minister, but I'm certain many will be working on that next step at some stage. Thanks for oh, joining sorry. us. <laughs> Thanks for joining My us. pleasure. Kevin Donnelly, there it is. Uh, that's the book, Christianity is Good for Us. And uh, you can get uh, follow that link there and get yourself a copy at kevindonnelly.com.au.